We're gonna get a 13 by 20. Look at this, guys. You can get your own Hawaiian Fish Keeper face mask. They're only $15. These are actually replicas. We are going to peel this away, all even, all the way around, as you can see. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper, and we got another banging video for you guys. Now, I know you guys have been getting after me about doing Tiki Falls. So this video here, we are gonna lay the liner down. We're actually gonna seam two liners together to complete the addition to Tiki Falls. So we're gonna have this existing pond here run into this new built pond. So it's gonna be like a big figure eight, I guess you can say. Yeah, see that? It is, it does look like a big figure eight. Expanding Tiki Falls to a little over a thousand gallons total. So these fish here are gonna live a nice comfortable life and um, hopefully it's their forever home. Now, before we get into this video, I gotta show you these gifts that I got. They're pretty cool. Check it out. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. These two tikis are from my mom, my makuhini, mahalo mom. I really appreciate it. These are actually replicas of the Moai tikis on Easter Island, or better known as Rapa Nui. So check them out. I'm gonna show you a picture of the actual tikis found on Easter Island. Boom, check it out. Pretty neat, right? And these are the replicas. Now, let me show you. I have a smaller one at Tiki Falls right now. Let me show you. All right, here's Tiki Falls. And there is the little replica that I got actually from uh, my neighbor, Johnny. Shout out to Johnny. So now I have three total and uh, just two more Tiki's to add to Tiki Falls. So I'm super excited. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put them. Maybe over here, maybe over there. They're really big, so they're gonna look really cool and uh, pretty nice accent pieces for Tiki Falls. As you see, we have Tiki One here. We got another Tiki right there, a little Tiki right there. Bunch of Tikis, huh? We got Tiki there, Tiki here, here a Tiki there, Tiki everywhere, Tiki Tiki. So next gift, we gotta shoot in the house. So I'll see you guys in there in a second. Boom, guys, we are in the house now, but before I show you what I got, I gotta tell you a quick story. We got a really good friend named Lori. She's a commissioned artist. Now, her paintings are beautiful. I love her colors, the textures, the brightness. I love the bright colors that she uses in her art. So I was watching her do a time lapse of, of a painting of a wolf. I messaged her, I said, why don't you do a picture of koi fish? Because I know a lot of artists love to paint koi just because of the colors and the textures. Now she actually sent a time-lapse video uh, to me and I was like blown away. So let me first show you a picture right here of the Tiki Falls Facebook page. You see that picture? Take a look at it, right? Study it. Now I'm gonna show you the time-lapse video that she sent me. Check it out. Now let me show you what I got. All right, so this is what I got. Check it out. She even actually has these little corner protectors on the picture. She's done this a few times, huh? Got to protect fine art. You got to protect fine art. Look at this, guys. Look at this beautiful Lori Spillman original painting that I got. Tiki Falls. Look at it. It's got the Tiki. It's got actually everybody's name of my family in here. You can see them all. Even the dog's names, you got Kalua, Tegan, Jim, look at that, Kona Piliahi, Makayo, Kueli Poilani, all my son's names, Kainoa, Imanawanui, Anahaaha, Kikanaka, you got the word family here, Hawaiian fish keeper right there with the hibiscus, which is one of my favorite flowers. I just think, and of course her little initial signature down there at the bottom. I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful painting. Um, I appreciate it, Lori, so much. This is my first commissioned painting that I have, or piece of art. It's beautiful. Tell me, that does not look like my Tiki Falls Facebook page. Look at that, right? All the, the, um, the koi and the goldfish that are in Tiki Falls, 
thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Lori. Love you so much. And comment down below, guys, what you guys think of the Tiki Falls picture. I think it'll be the first thing that goes up in Tiki Lounge. Stay tuned. Isn't that such a beautiful piece of commissioned art? Now, do me a favor, guys. I'm going to put a link to her site down in the description below. Go check out her art. Lori Spielman, the artist. Or should I say, the commissioned artist. I'm so fancy. Like, I got a piece of commissioned art in my house. That's wild. So now let's get into this video. All right, since I've been getting gifts, now I got to go give some gifts away. You guys are coming along with me. And we got to take a quick pit stop over at the depot. We need to get some pawn liner. Let's go. Boom, we are here at my local post office where it's my turn to send out some gifts. I got some gifts, now I'm gonna go ahead and send some gifts out to all of you. These little packages right here have the official Hawaiian Fish Keeper face mask in it. Now, if you haven't ordered one, I just made a big order for a bunch of these masks. Go ahead and get at your boy. Down in the description below, I left the Tiki Falls Facebook page and my Instagram channel page too. That's where you can contact me, direct message me there, and we'll link up and you can get your own Hawaiian Fish Keeper face mask. They're only $15. I'm not making a killing on this mask, but I figured it was a way that you guys can have a really cool mask and you can show your love and support by getting a mask. All the money goes right back into the channel. So I really appreciate it. These masks are sick, I'm telling you. Not only are they reversible, but they also have a pocket in the inside so you can actually put a filter so you can customize this mask. I'm telling you, these masks are dope. So I appreciate the love and support. These packages are going out to you guys, the ones that ordered them, and I'll see you guys at our next stop. Shh. Boom, we are here at Home Depot. In the pond department, we need to get a couple items. Let me show you. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get some one inch pond tubing. And that tubing there is $20, $20.37. And then we also need our pond liner. We're gonna get a 13 by 20 pond liner for $99.97. All right, so here we go. Large ponds, we got a 13 foot by 20 foot pond liner, 14.5 mil. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Boom, we are home and it's about time to get ready. Whoa, I don't know what happened to my hat. I look like a chick at the Kentucky Derby here. What's going on here? Anyways, let me show you what's going on now. And the first steps we're gonna take when sealing the two pond liners together. If you can see all these jagged little like edges here, really sharp. There's some rocks down there. You can see a little bit of rocks. For the most part, I got as many rocks as I could out of the uh, bottom here but what we're going to do is we're going to dump some sand this is leveling sand that i got at home depot in here smooth it out tamper it down make it nice and smooth just to kind of protect the underlinement that goes down and the pond liner from roots rocks things of that sort just add a nice little solid cushion down here at the bottom so let's go ahead and do that All right, there you go, just like that. We have our leveling sand there. We kind of made a nice soft cushion down at the base there so you don't see any rocks, no roots, and that's just gonna protect our underlayment. We're gonna go ahead and put the underlayment down first. Let's go. Okay, so we do have our pond liner here. This is our seaming tape, all right? Total Pond, it's the same name brand as the Pond Liner. I know at least they're compatible. It's gonna tape both of the Pond Liners together. Here is our underlayment right here, but you know what, the underlayment I bought, it's a little too small, it's six feet by 12 feet. I know it'll cover the bottom, not sure if it'll cover up the side, so we'll see. Let's get this unpacked and put it in. Before I lay this underlayment down, I wanted to show you like what type of material it is. It's almost like a, a fabric. As you can see it, it's gonna protect it from rocks as well as roots. So 
kind of important that you do an underlayment. I actually spurged for this section of the pond and I actually got real underlayment versus this blue tarp underlayment. Yeah, this is kind of like, I guess you could say my ghetto version, you know what I'm saying? Fall in on a budget version. All right, here you go. Underlayment is down, as you can see. I kind of figured it wasn't big enough. As you can see, it's not going up the walls, but at least we got the bottom all covered. Now, what we're gonna do is grab our pond liner and we're gonna spread it out. So it's pretty much gonna cover all this area because it's huge. Um, but I'm gonna really focus on getting it lined up over here in this gap here. And we're gonna seam this liner with the new liner with that seaming tape. So before I show you that, let me show you a little trick on how I level out the edges from here to here. Like see these edges here? I wanna show you a little trick that I use. Okay, so what you do is you get yourself a board, something like this, okay? You put your board down from this ledge here to this ledge over here. See how the board runs across this way? Grab yourself a level like this and you just level it out. That way you know your edge on this side of the pond will be even with that side of the pond. And you just take your board, longer pieces, shorter pieces, and you know, you put it on this side. You can find out if this ledge matches to this ledge. So your water line is all even all the way around, as you can see. What we did was we grabbed some acetone right there and this towel, and we actually cleaned the bottom of this liner. Let me show you what the bottom of the liner looked like. It looked like the top side, it looked just like that. You see that? So what I did was clean about a good, I would say eight to nine inches from here up. As you can see, it is super clean and you want this as clean and dry as possible. That way the new pond liner with this existing pond liner makes a nice watertight seal. So it's good to have a board. This is like a eight feet long, six inches wide, and it makes a nice base. So you can put this on there, you can put pressure, you can wipe it, clean it. And this is what we're gonna use to put pressure to apply the seam tape. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's uh, kind of a mess down here in the pond. You know, I got the liner just kind of everywhere right now. But the most important part is I have the end of the seam here. So. We got our board right there, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and seam this pond liner to this pond liner. All right, so what we got here is our wood. We have the new liner, we have the existing liner. Both sides cleaned with acetone. We're gonna grab our tape here, which is extremely, extremely sticky. All right, it's about, it's three inches wide by 20 feet or 25 feet long. So that is really super sticky. So once you put that bad boy on, you gotta make sure you line it up. You wanna leave about an inch gap from the end of your liner, okay? Like so, if that makes sense. We're gonna go as far over as we can, right about there. And we wanna apply it nice and even. And we wanna make sure that this lays flat. That's why it's good to use a board. Kind of a little trick of the trade. And we are just taking our time. Now granted, I'm gonna just go ahead and give you a disclaimer. I am no professional at this. This is the first time I've ever put two pawn liners together, okay? So uh, don't say, uh, you know, oh, you know, Hawaiian Fish Keeper did it this way. I just uh, did some research on the best way of doing it. And this, was it so we're coming out to the end here i'm going to go ahead and cut it right here oh gosh this stuff is sticky Woo, sticky it's like that sticky icky we'll put that right there oh yes okay so we want to make sure we got this all the way down tight all right here we go guys now we are going to peel this away you see you see you see all the way out and then we're going to grab our pawn liner i'm going to actually work it this way 
and I'm gonna overlap it about an inch. Boom, right there. And I'm just going to pat it all the way down. I'm gonna make sure that this is pushed down and sealed. As you can see, it gets a little crooked right here, but that's okay because this is just gonna be covered with rock. This is actually gonna be submersed, this section right here. So this is the part I really want to be good and sealed. And there we go, guys. The perfect seam right there. Now, let me just move in a little bit closer so you guys can see. I'm gonna let this sit probably overnight and uh, Check it out, check it out, check it out. There it is right there. You can see the board that I have it on so it lays flat. And uh, I may just put some stones on it just to keep pressure on it all night. Uh, but yeah, it's usually just a couple hours for it to cure and uh, actually become sealed. So yeah, that is it. Like I said, this little section right here is gonna be submerged so I really wanted that to be perfect. Um, as it flares out here to the end, it's okay because this is all gonna be above water. Just this section right here is gonna be underwater. So that's my that was my only concern. So yeah, that's it guys, it's pretty simple. So please give this video a like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I explained everything you know, pretty much in detail, it's really simple. I was a little stressed because I haven't done this before. It's the first time I've ever put two pawn liners together. So like I said, disclaimer, all right? I'll be your guys' guinea pig. Uh, by the way, I gotta do something with this female Kentucky Derby hat, man. It's really jacked up. I gotta make sure I, I don't know, bend this out or something anyways. So I'll see you guys in the next video, part four of Tiki Falls. See you soon, all right? Much love and aloha. Oh.